What do you think happened uh, uh, on voting day 2021, not just in, in Virginia, but the close race in New Jersey and, and some of the other uh, even state legislatures and, and some of the proposals? Do, do you, can you explain what happened in a way that, that makes you feel that, that the American people are just gangbusters for, for spending another, whatever you want to call it, one and three quarter to as much as $4 trillion? Yeah, I, thanks for that question. I think that, you know, there can be a lot of different interpretations of what happened. Mine is, and I think this is shared by a lot of our, our political uh, gurus, is that uh, Democratic voters stayed home. A lot of them stayed home out of frustration that we weren't acting quickly enough. So while I know that there are some of our members who really are defensive when the Republicans scream socialism and all of this stuff, I think most of us realize that the, the, the people who gave us the majority in the House, uh, gave us a tie in the Senate, and gave us President uh, Biden last year, uh, were expecting action a little faster. That's despite the fact that uh, earlier this spring we passed the American Rescue Plan, which, in addition to putting $1,400 in most Americans' pockets, uh, put city and, and state governments on a much sounder financial footing, and they're being able now to provide many more services for their constituents that they weren't able to do before. So anyway, but I think it's really, you know, this dragged out uh, the, the, the internecine fights that we've seen. Uh, it looked like, you know, the, the narrative in the media that the Democrats are in disarray. All of that, I think, discouraged a lot of Democratic voters from coming out. I don't like polls and things change so much in a year, Congressman. Right. I, I understand that. But, but when you ask uh, Americans about heading in the right direction, 70% uh, uh, say wrong direction. And, you know, we've got these, some of these inflation numbers. We've got some other... I know, take your pick. Uh, if, if the, the, uh, if the other side, Republicans got about 10 things they would, they would throw at you. The border, uh, the supply chain issues, gasoline prices, inflation. Um, usually the president's party loses quite a few seats in the House in the, in the election, the midterm after that. But they're talking about 60, 70 seats possibility or even, even a new record. And I know I'm talking about, you know, someone in that <laughs> well, party like uh, yeah, McCarthy. But, but d does that mean just even though you're in the face of all that that is happening, you just rush to do even more of what may have been causing people to get disillusioned in the first place? So just before you're all out of office and you're not running for re-election and you're like, right. you're like a kid. You're like a kid. You got, the, you know, you, <laughs> you are. You got, right. uh, you got Chuck Grassley running for another six-year term. He's, he's almost 90 years old and, and you're not running again. I know. Well, I, you know, some, not many people remember Sandy Koufax, but, you know, I, I'm very sensitive to knowing when to, when to get out. You want to get out at the top. You're of your in your game. prime. You're in your prime, and a great golfer, too. What, do you want to get down to, you want to get to be a, a, a plus handicap, I guess? Well, I, I'd love to. I, I have shot my age twice in the last month, so those were the first times, oh so I'm excited God. about that. And not uh, on a par three, <laughs> and not for nine not holes. Part, I do it for nine <laughs> holes. Not on a par three. But, you know, you're absolutely right, Joe, about all those uh, headwinds that, that are out there, and uh, that's why one of the critical things that we have to do is to make sure that if we pass this bill, and I, I'm confident we will, the Build Back Better bill, and we have now passed the infrastructure bill, that we get out and talk about it. Um, you know, this is something that all Democrats are saying now, but it's absolutely true. We have to convince the American people that we have, we have acted. So far, almost all of the narrative on the Build Back Better Act has been the top line number, and not on things like child care and pre-K education yeah. and senior care and climate right. policy Con and all sorts of things that the, yeah, that the American people want. Con Congressman, there was a great story uh, by Neil Irwin in the New York Times over the weekend with the headline, Americans are flush with cash and jobs. They also think the economy is awful. How is it possible? And is this a messaging problem? How is it possible that the stock market is doing as well as it is, that the real economy to a large degree looks like it's doing well? I think inflation is, is a real issue, however. And yet, the approval uh, ratings and po poll numbers for the administration and for uh, some of your peers and colleagues is doesn't seem to reflect that. Right. You know, Andrew, I, I think that 
that those numbers are re not really a reflection of how people are feeling financially. I think they are reacting to what they look at as a chaotic situation and um, all of the all of the factors that that were mentioned, things like the supply chains and uh, gas prices and so forth. But um, so I, I think those are numbers that can be reversed. But again, uh, we have to get I think we have to get these things passed because some of these things are not going to go into effect immediately. They won't feel, people won't feel them. You're not going to see uh, all of a sudden uh, bulldozers everywhere with because of the bipartisan uh, infrastructure bill. You're going to see that's going to be money that's going to be spent over the next six, seven, eight years. And on the Build Back Better Act side, the, the one thing that people will feel immediately is parents who's who will get that $300 check every month as part of the ex expanded uh, child tax credit. That's the kind of thing that they'll feel immediately. And again, we have to make sure they know that we did it, Republicans opposed it. And uh, that's our responsibility. And if we don't do a good job at that, yeah, we'll take a beating next year.